In this video series, I will show you how I sculpt the, this robotic gorilla mesh. And this video is a little long, so I will upload the video in series. First, I started with UV sphere and sculpt the basic gorilla mesh more. After I finish the gorilla mesh more, I transform and sculpt into the a robotics model. I use the remesh method for base mesh cabin and use Dynabo cabin method to a service cabin. I sculpted the models in separate parts uh, to less impact the computer performance. And I will also explain the uh, technique I use in the cabin. So please see the video to the end. Uh, first, I started with UV sphere and I add uh, subdivision level 2 and apply the uh, subdivision level to get uh, enough resolution for the uh, smooth sphere. If I didn't add the subdivision modifier level 2 and apply the modifier, I will get the feathered edge UV sphere after I remesh it. Uh, but it will be no problem uh, because we will scrub the UV sphere from the scratch anyway. Uh, so the feathered the feathered will be this sphere anyway. I start scrubbing the gorilla head uh, by seeing the reference photos from the image viewer. Most of the time, I use the clay strip brush, crease brush, and scrub brush. I usually turn off the clay strip brush when pressure radius size. I only use the brush strength for pen pressure. And I also turn on the front face only scrub mode. This gorilla head has uh, elongated head shape so I use the grid brush to elongate the head and use the clay strip brush to add and subtract some volume uh, to match the uh, reference photo. I speed up the video for four times to modify the large amount of mesh uh, like this I use the grid brush change the grass press size according to your need. In this situation, I add the reference image to the camera background image and mark the eyes and eyebrows area. I change the pupil focal length to 120mm uh, to avoid the pupil lens distortion when I scrub in close-up view. In scrubbing, it is very important to view the moray from the different angle and modify the moray. So I continuously uh, viewing the moray from the different angle and modify it with grip brush. When I want to modify the large amount of my moray, I use the grip brush and use the clay strip brush to add and subtract uh, some volumes. Uh, according to the reference photo, uh, I add volume to the shin. Mm. I add with clay strip brush. Uh, since the gorilla nose is uh, flat and so I use the grab brush to match my moray to the reference photo and also use the crease brush to get the uh, curvature of the mouth and add the, add the volume to the mouth with clay strip brush and uh, sometimes I use inflate brush and create more adjustment at the mouth and chin area. Uh, 
now I'm adjusting the side view and back side of the head I use the grab brush and according to the profile view I'll need to uh, extrude the uh, nose and mouth a little forward to continue sculpting I will need to body and neck uh, so I change back to the object mode and uh, add a UV sphere I skip the axis of the UV sphere to uh, looks like M um, and attach to the body and I attach these uh, UV spheres or I attach all these UV spheres reset the transform uh, it is very important to reset with this shape uh, without reset the mesh uh, you will have serious error in the scabbing mode to reset the mesh use the control A and uh, press or transform and now I remesh the more uh, to the proper resolution and continuous scabbing I use the three planar 3.5 in this scabbing mode uh, in planar 3.5 I uh, preview the remesh resolution is R uh, it is shift R when using in the previous version and now in this version a uh, preview remesh is uh, they change the preview remesh shortcut to R ok now I join the the body M and together and remesh again so they are now continuous mesh I also check other reference photos and I change the model according to the reference photos. Uh, if you are in the very early stage of uh, stage and uh, like in my scabbing situation, uh, you uh, you need to scut from the little distant view. Uh, because you need to view the whole model as you go on I use the crease brush line to visualize, visualize the joint of the head and neck and by using this crease line I can um, adjust the head and neck in the fixed position I switch between uh, head and body uh, but uh, by pressing uh, by placing the cursor on the mesh and press or touch you then I use the crease brush to draw the outline of the anatomy and then use the clear street brush to fill up or subtract Uh, this is the time to draw an ear uh, so I must the area of the an ear and smooth it and invert it and I use the rotate brush and pinball and akasa comment from the scalp menu I add that menu to the quick favorite menu so uh, I can use this menu is very easily I think it is a good habit to add a very commonly used comment to the quick favorite menu. I draw the ear very roughly uh, because I want this model to be roboted so I don't care the detail of the ear uh, because I will change it very differently in the roboted model.
Now the more a little look like gorillas. Uh, I add a UV sphere for the fine limbs. I scale up in the C axis of the UV sphere and arrange the UV sphere uh, to the position of the high lens. Uh, now the more is not fit with the more reference, uh, so I mask the more and uh, using the smooth mask, I smooth out the masking and uh, change the body posture and I will need remesh to adjust the mesh if you change the model uh, a lot uh, you may need a remesh again and again when you push and pull more a lot uh, the points are not equalized throughout the more so you have to remesh the more uh, to scrub the gorilla leg uh, first I cut out the tips behind the line project tools <coughs> and adjust the width of the leg and then I use clay strip brush to add or subtract the uh, volume uh, first I scrub the legs as a separate object and then later I will attach to the body and use remesh to get the leg and body union but I still separate the body and the head as the separate object I sculpt the uh, body and legs uh, seeing the reference pictures from the outside program I mostly use the clay strip brush and use the crease brush to draw the important anatomy line and then later I fill with clay strip. At this stage I am drawing the uh, gorilla body uh, without very precise Cabin because I want to change this model to the robotics one, uh, so I don't need to scrub the very detail of the model. And now I change back to the head part and adjust the head side and adjust the neck to fit the shoulder. I'm trying to get that good proportion of the my models. Uh, so now I want to add the feet to the gorilla model. Uh, I start the feet from the tube, remesh the tube with proper resolution, then uh, round the corner with a scrap brush. First, I try to get the feet, then I will add the uh, toes separately. I use scrap brush to round edge uh, edge corners and use the smooth brush and use the grab brush to get the foot shape and use the crease brush uh, to, to get a junction to the leg I create the line with the crease brush uh, so I have something to uh, pull out with the grab brush and then I, I adjust the height and shape of the joint and by using the grab brush and fill with a uh, clay strip brush. I'll continue scrubbing using the same brush to look like the foot of the gorilla uh, according to the reference photo uh, the gorilla food is different from the human feet uh, so I pull out the uh, big toes base area and adjust the feet 
uh, to create the tool, I add the selena and scale down and position the tools. And I only reset the scale so I can use the symmetry and in the scabin moves. I rematch the selena with the good amount of resolution and uh, scabbing the tools using the crease brush as the guide for anatomy and use the clay strip brush to fill and subtract some area. When I finish one tool, I copy it and position it at the correct position and attach to the foot and then I remesh it to combine all the tools to the foot. When using remesh, if you remesh it uh, with low resolution, you will lose the details of the tools. So, I undo the remesh and use the picker tool at the process sides and I pick up the tools resolution and remesh again with this resolution so I get the details of the uh, tools. And then I adjust the, and then I adjust and scrub the feet according to the photo reference. The feet is a little shortened, so I must it and uh, elongate with the move tools, and then I remesh it. and adjust the joints. I change foot and bed between the two objects, body and foot, to adjust the joint. 